I've been learning to speak catbird. That effort includes recognizing their singing voices, of course, but that's for my next movie. In this video, I'd like to share what I've been learning about their vocalizations. I've had occasion to hear them a lot because we've been feeding dried mealworms, sometimes mixed with grape jelly, to the birds that hang out near our creek. Robins and brown thrashers, cardinals and red-bellied woodpeckers have gotten used to the routine. But among the mealworm fans, it's the catbirds I hear as soon as I approach. I often hear the call that gives them their name, a petulant cross between a whine and a cat's meow. That unoiled hinge meow of his sounds cranky, but for all I know, he's joyfully welcoming the lady who brings dried mealworms. Oh, you even brought the grape jelly today. But if he keeps flicking his tail with every cry, it's more likely he's thinking, put the food down and go away, you big dangerous oaf. Well, for all his reputation as a skulker, and he does burrow into the thorniest thickets, he's surprisingly bold. Much braver about coming close to the local giants than any other species, including robins. As soon as I'm within 20 or 30 feet of where I feed them, I hear their call notes. It's deeper than a cardinal's high-pitched click. Now they might just be telling their buddies the food's here, but I think it's also possible they're speaking to me, as in, where's the food? Because if I'm slow putting the mealworms down, they do pretty often land right in front of me and chuck a note at me. Even if I'm right, though, about them talking to me, it does, at least so far, make them uneasy to get very close. In that case, their clucking might as well be English. And it says, is this even a good idea? It's probably not a good idea. I want those mealworms, though. It's more of a worry wart's muttering than a scolding, such as a robin or red-bellied woodpecker might deliver. When two catbirds want the same food, then I might hear an, are we going to fight about this note of concern? Or this. Can I eat two without getting attacked? No, actually. One of them might apologize in advance and then grab a bite and run. In the middle of a spat, you might hear a sharp, angry click. If they get really, really nervous about whether they're about to fuse themselves into an aerial feather duster, they chitter excitedly. And once in a while, they mix meow and melody together, in case they're having mixed emotions. This is just a basic primer in catbird language. I don't ever expect to be really fluent 